Weekly AI News. Hello, viewers. Welcome back to your one stop shop for all news AI. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the artificial intelligence universe. So, let's get right into it. AI to train teams of robots. When communication lines are open, individual agents, such as robots or drones, can work together to collaborate and complete a task. But what if they aren't equipped with the right hardware or the signals are blocked, making communication impossible? University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign researchers started with this more difficult challenge. They developed a method to train multiple agents to work together using multi-agent reinforcement learning, a type of artificial intelligence. It's easier when agents can talk to each other, said Hui Tran, an aerospace engineer at Illinois. But we wanted to do this in a way that's decentralized, meaning that they don't talk to each other. We also focused on situations where it's not obvious what the different roles or jobs for the agents should be. Tran said this scenario is much more complex and a harder problem because it's not clear what one agent should do versus another agent. Tran and his collaborators used machine learning to solve this problem by creating a utility function that tells the agent when it is doing something useful or good for the team. With team goals, it's hard to know who contributed to the win, he said. We developed a machine learning technique that allows us to identify when an individual agent contributes to the global team objective. If you look at it in terms of sports, one soccer player may score, but we also want to know about actions by other teammates that led to the goal, like assists. It's hard to understand these delayed effects. The algorithms the researchers developed can also identify when an agent or robot is doing something that doesn't contribute to the goal. It's not so much the robot chose to do something wrong, just something that isn't useful to the end goal. They tested their algorithms using simulated games like Capture the Flag and StarCraft, a popular computer game. Robot Dog Learns Walking Within Hour A newborn giraffe or foal must learn to walk on its legs as fast as possible to avoid predators. Animals are born with muscle coordination networks located in their spinal cord. However, learning the precise coordination of leg muscles and tendons takes some time. Initially, baby animals rely heavily on hardwired spinal cord reflexes. While somewhat more basic, motor control reflexes help the animal to avoid falling and hurting themselves during their first walking attempts. The following, more advanced and precise muscle control must be practiced, until eventually the nervous system is well adapted to the young animal's leg muscles and tendons. No more uncontrolled stumbling. The young animal can now keep up with the adults. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Stuttgart conducted a research study to find out how animals learn to walk and learn from stumbling. They built a four-legged, dog-sized robot that helped them figure out the details. As engineers and roboticists, we sought the answer by building a robot that features reflexes just like an animal and learns from mistakes, says Felix Rupert, a former doctoral student in the Dynamic Locomotion Research Group at MPI-IS. If an animal stumbles, is that a mistake? Not if it happens once, but if it stumbles frequently, it gives us a measure of how well the robot walks. After learning to walk in just one hour, Rupert's robot makes good use of its complex leg mechanics. A Bayesian optimization algorithm guides the learning. The measured foot sensor information is matched with target data from the modeled virtual spinal cord running as a program in the robot's computer. The robot learns to walk by continuously comparing scent and expected sensor information, running reflex loops, and adapting its motor control patterns. AI to reduce common drug side effects Research led by the University of Exeter and Kent and Medway NHS and Social Care Partnership Trust, published in Age and Aging, assessed a new tool designed to calculate which medicines are more likely to experience adverse anticholinergic effects on the body and brain. These complications can occur from many prescription and over-the-counter drugs, which affects the brain by blocking a key neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Now, researchers have developed a tool to calculate harmful effects of medicines using artificial intelligence. The team created a new online tool, International Anticholinergic Cognitive Burden Tool, or IACT, which uses natural language processing, which is an artificial intelligence methodology and chemical structure analysis to identify medications that have anticholinergic effect. 
The tool is the first to incorporate a machine learning technique to develop an automatically updated tool available on a website portal. The anticholinergic burden is assessed by assigning a score based on reported adverse events and aligning closely with the chemical structure of the drug being considered for prescription, resulting in a more accurate and up-to-date scoring system than any previous system. Ultimately, after further research and modeling with real-world patient data, the tool developed could help to support prescribing reducing risks from common medicines. Strong and Fast-Switching Artificial Muscle In the American action movie Pacific Rim, giant robots called Jaegers fight against unknown monsters to save humankind. These robots are equipped with artificial muscles that mimic real living bodies and defeat monsters with power and speed. Recently, research is being conducted on equipping real robots with artificial muscles like the ones shown in the movie. However, the powerful strength and high speed in artificial muscles cannot be actualized since the mechanical strength or force and conductivity or speed of polymer electrolyte, the key materials driving the actuator, have conflicting characteristics. A post-tech research team led by Professor Moon Jiong Park Professor Chang Yun Son and research professor Rui Yang Wang from the Department of Chemistry has developed a new concept of polymer electrolyte with different functional groups located at a distance of two angstroms. This polymer electrolyte is capable of both ionic and hydrogen bonding interactions, thereby opening the possibility of resolving these contradictions. Artificial muscles are used to make robots move their limbs naturally as humans can. To drive these artificial muscles, an actuator that exhibits mechanical transformation under low voltage conditions is required. However, due to the nature of the polymer electrolyte used in the actuator, strength and speed could not be achieved simultaneously because increasing muscle strength slows down the switching speed, and increasing speed reduces the strength. To overcome the limitations presented so far, the research introduced the innovative concept of bifunctional polymer. By forming a one-dimensional ion channel several nanometers wide inside the polymer matrix, which is hard as glass, a super-ionic polymer electrolyte with both high ionic conductivity and mechanical strength was achieved. AI Pilot Can Navigate Crowded Airspace A team of researchers at Carnegie Mellon University believe they have developed the first AI pilot that enables autonomous aircraft to navigate a crowded airspace. The artificial intelligence can safely avoid collisions, predict the intent of other aircraft, track aircraft and coordinate with their actions, and communicate over the radio with pilots and air traffic controllers. The researchers aim to develop the AI so the behaviors of their system will be indistinguishable from those of a human pilot. To interact with other aircraft as a human pilot would, the AI uses both vision and natural language to communicate its intent with other aircraft whether piloted or not. This behavior leads to safe and socially compliant navigation. Researchers achieved this implicit coordination by training the AI on data collected at the Allegheny County Airport and the Pittsburgh Butler Regional Airport that included air traffic patterns, images of aircraft and radio transmissions. The AI uses six cameras and a computer vision system to detect nearby aircraft in a manner similar to that of a human pilot. Its automatic speech recognition function uses natural language processing techniques to both understand incoming radio messages and communicate with pilots and air traffic controllers using speech. That's all for this video, folks. See you on the next one!